morning everybody and welcome to this weekly update video. So today's Friday and we've just seen the the first kind of big virtual conference being held um, which is Microsoft to build and I want to talk about that later in the video but first of all let's cover off some news. Now with build happening this week we have seen lots of announcements happening and I could probably spend a good couple of hours actually talking about um, what's been happening but I wanted to focus on three things that I thought were quite um, important. Um, Azure Backup now supports backing up Azure virtual machines with up to 32 disks attached. So previously that was only 16 disks attached so for those that have multiple storage um, disks attached you can now back them up up to 32 disks. We also have support for Kubernetes within Azure Policy. So that service is in preview now, but it allows you to kind of control some of the things that happen within Kubernetes, things like um, your pods and namespaces and ingress. So definitely check that out. And again, there'll be notes in the, the, show, um, the description below as well. Um, we also got some um, Azure Key Vault announcements and enhancements around some of that. So there's some private link integration there. There's some um, functionality to allow you to bring your own keys and there's some improvements around rotating keys as well so again I'll post more um, information below in the description so like I said we've just seen uh, Microsoft Build run as a virtual event and um, I'm really proud of what the team have managed to accomplish to be honest with such a sh short time frame and having to deal with all of the usual presenters and staff working from home as well. So um, Build isn't something that I would usually be involved in because it's typically a developer audience um, and obviously I talk to the IT pro, pro audience but um, we did all get mucked in and have a go at presenting and my colleague Thomas Maurer was presenting a kind of Q&A, an expert Q&A session on hybrid cloud and he asked for someone to help moderate that session and just be there with him to deal with questions and, and just make sure there was a backup if something went wrong, etc. So um, I was really fortunate that I managed to help Thomas with that and, and we kind of kind of did a... Um, question and answer session between the pair of us with answering some of the audience questions as well. So it was really cool to get involved with that. So thank you, Thomas, for allowing me to join in your session and hopefully um, everybody that attended really enjoyed it. Um, Microsoft Build was recorded. It was all, Everything was kind of live streamed in the different time zones in the US, um, the UK and Australia time zones. And if you've missed any of that, the content is being recorded and will be available. Um, it might be available now. I know the team are working obviously in the background to try and get all that content available. But if you check out mybuild.microsoft.com, you'll be able to find more information about the sessions. And um, once we get a recording of the session that Thomas and I did, I'll, we'll be sharing that online as well. Um, I've also been involved in moderating some of the sessions as well, just um, in the background answering some of the chat and talking away to the attendees while the presenters were um, presenting. And it was a pretty cool experience um, from my point of view, from behind the scenes obviously and as a presenter. Um, everything seems to go very smoothly and, and has been well received. Obviously, um, for, there might be some people thinking that it didn't go well from an attendee point of view, but please do reach out to us with positive comments or negative comments. Um, you know, with the status that it is with this pandemic around the world, um, I don't know how many virtual events we're going to have to run and when we're going to be allowed to run in-person events again. So any feedback that you have on how Build was was held or handled will help us in the future, both hopefully improve our virtual events for the future and maybe even our in-person events as well and how we can improve them. So definite feedback is really appreciated. And if you attended, make sure you fill in your evaluations because they are always useful to us as well. So yeah, that's that's been this focus this week. Um, I'm also working on a number of presentations. Um, I'm presenting at a customer event next week. I'm presenting at a user group next week. I have to submit a small lightning talk for um, a virtual community event that's happening as well at the start of June. So it's pretty much full on at the moment um, and pretty busy. Um, you will have might have seen I finished building my new PC at the weekend and I got a video up about building all of that. Um, so that was pretty 
pretty cool. I'm starting to get into um, using the PC now. I'm in the process of just, you know, the usual installing everything, getting all the drivers up to date, um, trying to transfer the data that I need across. So I'm kind of working between my work laptops, my old PC, my new PC. So it's a bit of a, a mismatch at the, at the moment, but I'm really loving the new PC. It's definitely an improvement on what I had before. Um, so yeah, um, pretty full on at the moment. Um, it's a public holiday in the UK on Monday. So I'm going to have a long weekend. Definitely going to be chilling, definitely going to be taking my time. I've got quite a bit of housework to catch up with because work's taken um, a lot of my time up recently. So I've got to get through some of that housework. Um, I'll probably have a play around with the PC and get it set up even more. Um, and yeah, just prepping for a busy week ahead next week. Like I said, I've got a number of engagements and a number of videos that I need to get filmed and, and involved in. Um, I've also been working on my performance review for work. So that has to be in on Monday, I think is a deadline. So I need to probably maybe check on that and get that in over the weekend as well. But um, it's been good looking back. Um, this is my first kind of full review of being a cloud advocate. I joined the team in October, November time, and I did a review in November. So it was more of a look back on my previous role than actually as my cloud advocate role. So this, this review period is definitely all about cloud advocacy and how I've managed to handle the job. Um, so it's been an interesting learning curve for me looking back and having a, 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 you know, a reflection on what I've done and where I want to be in the future. Um, I think what's going to happen for me personally is in June I'm going to try and concentrate on a bit of personal development and again some of the backlog of things that I need to to do. Um, I definitely want to look at doing AZ500, this Azure security exam. That's been on my radar for probably about eight months now and I've just been putting it off and putting it off because of, of work and various other different deadlines. So I think June's definitely going to be my month um, of studying and focusing on that exam and hopefully come the end of June I'll be talking about having passed that exam. Um, and then I, I literally still have a list of blog posts that I want to get out. So I need to focus on actually um, spending some time around them. So I think um, June will definitely be a kind of catch up month and I'm focusing on me and my personal development and, and just focusing on what I can do in this current climate. Um, so yeah, that's me. Um, I hope you're all having a good week or enjoyed um, the week and have plans for the weekend and, and, and enjoy those. Stay safe for everybody and I will catch you next week.